when people look at it, uh, it looks crazy. That's a very natural thing. Sometimes when we look at it, it looks crazy. It is the result of reasoned engineering thought, but it still looks crazy. So the top of the atmosphere, down to the surface, it takes us seven minutes. It takes 14 minutes or so for the signal from the spacecraft to make it to Earth. That's how far Mars is away from us. So when we first get word that we've touched the top of the atmosphere, the vehicle has been alive or dead on the surface for at least seven minutes. Hi, this is Karen McKee, the scientist videographer. And what you just watched was the opening of the NASA video, Seven Minutes of Terror, which is about getting the rover Curiosity safely down onto the surface of Mars. I'd like to use this example to illustrate how to make a video about a complex science topic and not bore your audience to death. You've all watched science videos that feature one or more scientists. They just drone on and on, and we never see what they are talking about. The frame never changes, and although we are being told some pretty interesting stuff, our eyes tell us that nothing new is happening. To make matters worse, scientists use a lot of jargon and fail to explain things simply and in everyday language. Viewers get bored and click away to something else. So let's take a look at how to keep your viewers' attention when explaining highly technical aspects of your work. In the NASA video, several engineers are interviewed, and they explain the various technical aspects of the Mars rover design and the challenges they faced. But as the engineers are explaining, we are shown what they are talking about by adding text or cutting away to diagrams, illustrations, and animations. Take a look at this example and notice how this was done. Entry, descent, and landing, also known as EDL, is referred to as the seven minutes of terror because we've got literally seven minutes to get from the top of the atmosphere to the surface of Mars, going from 13,000 miles an hour to zero in perfect sequence, perfect choreography, perfect timing, and the computer has to do it all by itself with no help from the ground. It, if any one thing doesn't work just right, it's game over. By cutting away from the speaker to a graphic showing the descent of the rover, the segment is more visually interesting and aids the viewer in understanding the details of the landing. You can accomplish the same thing by adding footage or photos of plants, animals, landscapes, equipment, maps, graphs, and people. But there's more to it than just adding interesting things to look at. You need to ensure that the viewer understands what the experts are saying. In the NASA video, speakers defined essential technical terms and explained everything else in everyday language. Analogies are also useful, as in this example. At that point, we have to get that heat shield off. It's like a big lens cap blocking our view of the ground to the radar. The radar has to take just the right altitude and velocity measurements at just the right time or the rest of the landing sequence won't work. Another method is to have the technical details appear in on-screen text while the speaker explains using non-technical language. Because it has just enough atmosphere that you have to deal with it, otherwise it will destroy your spacecraft. On the other hand, it doesn't have enough atmosphere to finish the job. But bombarding the viewer with a series of facts is not very effective. Instead, the NASA video organized the information into a story using a three-part structure. First, the setup, which grabs the viewer's attention and sets things in motion. So, when we first get word that we've touched the top of the atmosphere, the vehicle has been alive or dead on the surface for at least seven minutes. 
the exposition, which provides details about the obstacles that must be overcome. The parachute is the largest and strongest supersonic parachute that we've ever built to date. It has to be able to withstand 65,000 pounds of force, even though the parachute itself only weighs about 100 pounds. The resolution, which tells us how things turned out. But the resolution was not shown in the NASA video, but instead played out in the real world with the actual landing of the rover on Mars. Things are looking good. Coming up on entry. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's at 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers descending. Standing by for batch separation. We are in powered flight. Single to us, you remain strong. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> got thumbnail. Well, that's a brief look at how to make a science video that does not bore your audience. This NASA video illustrates some really great ways to not only keep viewers watching a video, but to draw people's attention to an important scientific event. Stay tuned for more video reviews like this in which we'll examine what makes an effective and compelling science video.